Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lauren. So I just did my evening pick my daughter up from the library, and out of curiosity, I thought I would give my local CVS a check in the dumpster. And it turns out I hit the jackpot. And I also got busted. But uh, I will tell you a little more about that while I have the video. Here is a quick overview of my haul. Um, I believe it's 29 boxes of chocolate of the Russell Stover's and it's the variety of all dark and caramel so I'm not gonna obviously individually go through all those I did also find this entire package of Hershey Kisses and this is all sealed and in the bag and then from the other day when I was in uh, Alta and I had said I would do a little haul of some of the stuff that I already have so here is a makeup holder that I found and I will probably post this for sale if somebody wants it I'll clean it up for them and then here is the lipstick holder that I found as well and it looks like it holds a decent amount of lipstick so for anyone that has a decent sized vanity or a nice makeup room ignore my shoes in the back that would be super cool it's totally clean it's not cracked anywhere I actually have enough lipstick to put in it but I don't know if I have enough space for it because um, my bathroom is super duper tiny so I am gonna go ahead and put you on my little tripod here and show you um, some of the individual stuff that I have. So give me one second. Also, I wanted to say thank you to my new subscribers. Um, also, thank you to my old ones for tuning in. I know that um, this is a newer thing for me. I'm still learning how to dive properly. I actually just hit my head and look like a baby unicorn right now, which is kind of funny. I can... Uh... I don't know if you can see my face, but I hit my head right here. It didn't hurt, though. I'm fine. It just looks awkward. But anyway, so I also found a lemonade. It's completely full and sealed. And a strawberry lemonade, also completely full and sealed. And the other day when I was at my Ulta location, there's also a TJ Maxx right there as well. That's the one dumpster that I put you down on for, for a second. So I was able to find four four six packs of Puma socks. The the fourth one has already been claimed, but they were $7.99 each, originally $13, so that was a pretty good deal. And of course, they're all in their packaging, and they were actually in a bag too, so they are awesome. All brand new, little ties and everything on them, and they were in a bag. And then I randomly found this, which was the bag that I showed you and there was like books that went with it but it was just for like this club residence thing and there was a hat too but we took that out of there but the bag's super nice and so I can use this when I'm shopping if I don't want to have a bag or whatever the case is this is going to be a quick video sorry so I also found this when I was over at CVS and I'm pretty sure they're all in here because it's not open Ignore my ghetto tripod. It likes to act up sometimes. I've got one, two, three. Oh, I have more than I thought. So I found some packs of gummy bears. So funny story, my CVS is like at the corner of my block. And we literally go in there probably almost every other day to buy water and or anything else we may need because it's convenient. So we know everybody that works there. So as I was collecting all the stuff here, I was like, oh, you caught me because, you know, it's broad daylight. What can I do? Plus there's a drive through ATM and a bank that was still open parallel to where I was diving. But I mean, I don't care if you see me. I'm not breaking the law. But yeah, the ladies just stood there and had their cigarette break and, you know, they just kind of like nodded back. Um... So, I mean, I'll ask them next time I go in if, if they had a problem with me in there. I'm almost certain that maybe next time I dive that they may try to destroy some things because every single one of these, which retails at CVS for $9.99, is in the packaging and perfect. And there was just so much that I even left some in there. And I didn't even get to the bags. This was just the stuff that was sitting there. So I got this as well. And then this one. This one has nuts, so I won't be able to eat it. My, um, I had my checkup for my wisdom teeth, and my dentist said that everything looks great, but I still can't have anything with nuts or popcorn for at least two months just to make sure my gums heal properly. 
So I was fortunate enough to score these. Me and my daughter love them. So since I can't eat them, she'll be able to have them. So she's like super happy about that. Oh my gosh, I'm terribly sorry. Are you all right, hon? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. No, you're okay. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. So there's those. Oh, I have one more of those. Do you need water? No, I'm good. Okay. And so here, I didn't find this, but here's my ice pack for my head. And here is the last but not least, my Sour Patch Watermelon. Which, oh yeah, and I told you you could have them. Catch. Just don't eat them for dinner. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm causing avalanches. Oh, so there is my haul from CVS. Hopefully they aren't too angry with me for a... Uh, I should have had like a face mask on because I know that they know us so well, but we'll see if they decide to destroy things or if they're cool with it. But either way, I said hello and minded my own business and so did they. Thanks so much guys to all my new subscribers and my old, whatever time of day it is, morning, noon or night, I certainly hope you're having a good one. Also happy weekend in case I don't film a video tomorrow. All right, bye.